<sighs> okay, good. Now that I've dealt with the spammers, I can finally help uh, address uh, your uh, clairvoyance video. Uh, okay. Hi, um, Pavel. This is the practitioner here again. Um, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor. For those of you who are interested, I am attending Athabasca University. I'm not attending a, co uh, a um, community college. Um, not that that really matters, but what the hey? Um, it's a Bachelor of Science degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't be uh, set calling myself a Bachelor of Science student. Anyway, um, sorry. Um, I've been getting a lot of spam lately, and I'm trying to uh, shake off the last few of the spammers before I get on to the rest of my uh, serious videos. Okay, so where was I? Oh, yes. Um, bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Okay, uh, so here's the... Um, okay, so Pavel, I've taken a look at your video, and your clairvoyance test does certainly seem very interesting. Um, I would say that, um, that yes, you were right about a woman, uh, a woman holding a candle. Um, you got the wrong color of the dress, but Otherwise, you're getting that close. You definitely did get the gun. Um, and as for the pyramids, well, an isosceles triangle could, could put, uh, fit perfectly into a circle. So let's just say overall you got about two and a half. Um, that being said, um, I'm a little curious about... Uh, there's a couple of things which um, strike me as a little um, difficult about being able to determine the uh, psychic accuracy of this test. Um, the very first thing I'm going to go, uh, again, like I said, very impressive results uh, from what I've seen so far. The thing is, though, is there's a couple of things I would like to see strengthened in a couple of areas just to, uh, you know, clarify a couple of possibilities, you know, to avoid, um, you know, chance level probabilities, that sort of thing. Um, number one of which is the fact that, um, hang on, i got to calculate a quick probability here before we get into that, because uh, that's the, uh, the first thing I want to deal with. Uh, 20 second and zero 3 Actually, no. Strictly speaking, it would have to be 20 NPR3. Hmm. Okay, well, the odds are still statistically significant. Hmm. I'll have to double-check into that. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, long story short, um, there's a couple of things I'd like to take a look into. Uh, number one, uh, 3 out of 20 um, doesn't seem... Because uh, you're using a closed-deck situation, um, and given the fact that your chance is only 1 out of 20 um, in a particular... Um, you know, again, remember, statistically significant, uh, you're using a 1 out of 20 chance. So even if you got, um, say, only 1 out of 20, um, by odds, you would be statistically significant regardless. And out of a closed deck probability, um, you know, the odds are not bad. I will give you that. But there are a couple of things which are concerning me, uh, both about the possible statistics, uh, you know, likelihood of your chance uh, capabilities, and the other one, uh, you know, of your deviation of actual capabilities from chance, and the second of which is uh, your protocol design. Um, a just a couple of minor things. Um, firstly, when I saw you shuffling the photos earlier, now you dealt with um, you you dealt with uh, possible uh, inclinations by uh, doing the envelopes, so that was that was reasonable. Uh, you know, you managed to deal with uh, a reasonably okay random shuffling. I wouldn't call it a good uh, system. I mean, you know, it's it's the standard level of parapsych research. I would like to see something that might have been computerized um, or you know electronic noise based with computer interpretation. But that's just me. You know um, that you know that's the sort of level I would expect of uh, you know that's the sort of level I would expect of top level uh, scientists or. Uh, you know, people who can get access to that sort of work. Now, in my case, I've been able to get my access to a fairly good random number generator thanks to a Xander card test for a few of my uh, studies. But um, you know, that particular site is now um, shutting. Uh, that particular site uh, I've already used, and I was using it for uh, different purposes than the ones you're using. Um, now, there's a couple of things which I uh, I have concerns about. One of which is the fact that when you uh, shuffled the photos, uh, regardless of how um, well you did the random shuffling in the envelopes. After you did the uh, you put them in the envelopes. Uh, the fact was, when you were shuffling them, uh, you, you it is possible you were looking down just to make sure that you did get the cards fully overlapped, and it is possible that you did see a li uh, bits of the photos um, as you were shuffling them, and the uh, info could have got caught in your subconscious mind. Now, I'm not automatically debunking you as a, uh, your psychic or clairvoyant capabilities, but in your summary on part one, uh, you did say uh, that you generally have better results when somebody hands you the uh, the shuffles the photos and then hands them to you. Um, is there any chance you could actually do a video of that? Um, just a possibility. 
Um, again, the reason I suggest this, and preferably having them shuffle something out of the room, and then um, and then having them uh, and then passing the photos to you, uh, or loading the photos into the envelopes and then passing them to you, uh, you know, doing all the shuffling, the prep, handing them to you, and then leaving again, and then you uh, do it yourself that way. Um, that could eliminate uh, any possibility of uh, you know sensory cues. Um, I will admit um, it's highly unlikely, but just to be safe, you know, we should try it under slightly tighter conditions just to be safe on possibilities of, pro of, of uh, sensory cues. That being said, I will admit your results are impressive nonetheless. The second thing which I'm curious about um, was the fact that um, you got the two out of three, uh, but what you didn't do was you didn't actually mention which um, you said uh, you uh, you said um, lady in white. Uh, for example, uh, you said in order uh, lady with candle gun and circle, uh, and then you open them in the other direction. Uh, so the thing is that uh, the pro uh, what seems to be uh, what seems to be the problem here is the fact that um, you didn't specify which photo was in which envelope, and that was the one thing which concerned me because even though you did get them right, um, you got them on. Um, what appeared to me, now this is purely what appeared to me, uh, based on the order of what you said, you appeared to get um, what would be known as target displacement. Um, say for example what happened was you got the first one wrong, uh, and then out of the three what happened was you guessed, you guessed the three, but then you got the lady in candles being the next one, and the gun which you thought as the second one was actually the third one. So, um, you know, I'm wondering if you might have a precognitive capability here when you're actually measuring for clairvoyance, sort of a target displacement issue. Um, another possibility is again, uh, so just to be safe next time when you're doing this uh, protocol, say when you're repeating the experiment after someone's handed you the results uh, or handed you the shuffled photos, um, specify which envelope has which photo. Um, so this way, and then, and then better yet, make even uh, further documentation on it um, just to be safe. Um, also, uh, one other thing, um, I would also recommend, um, it's very, very difficult in some cases to try to calculate a closed deck system. Um, what um, I should probably just uh, help you um, under, uh, I should probably explain a little bit of this. Um, what you're doing is called closed deck system as opposed to uh, a truly random system, which would be, or even uh, you know, um, almost fully random system or pseudo random system, which would be uh, open deck. Closed deck is um, where you pick uh, random numbers and then you select the uh, you select the targets out of an already pre-shuffled deck, like out of, out of a, a fixed set of shuffled targets, like what you did with the envelopes. Now, what an open deck would be is that for each one of those three uh, trials, you would pick one random number, you would pick one random number, um, do that particular photo, then reinsert that photo back into the pile, reshuffle all the envelopes again, and put the number back in, reshuffle all the uh, reshuffle all the numbers again, pick out another random number, and find the new envelope that would correspond in the new set of shuffle targets. So you would reshuffle the envelopes after each trial. And the thing is that with open deck, it's considerably easier to calculate the probability for and to um, to prove uh, your statistical to prove your psionic your clairvoyant effect um, purely from the fact, uh, or sorry, at least it's easier for you to calculate and to know specifically what your odds are um, because of the fact that uh, the bulk of the scientific calculators online for uh, probability and the like are all based on uh, open deck scenarios, binomial probability, true random sources, that sort of thing. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, other than that, like I said. Um, it looks great. I have to admit, um, you know, I would say that your odds do seem significant. Uh, I mean, three out of twenty compared to uh, a one out of twenty, which you know, by chance, which again is statistic. Even uh, getting one by chance would be statistically significant in this case. And the fact that you got three, well, that would be interesting. You know, I will say that. Um, so, yeah, and a probability of one in twelve, uh, one in twenty, one in nineteen, and one in eighteen. So that would be odds of one in six thousand uh, by combined probability. Uh, so actually, let's just confirm that. Hang on. Uh, Twenty second p three six eight four zero uh, one divided by twenty. Or sorry, no. Twenty times nineteen times eighteen. Yeah, one in six thousand eight hundred forty. So um, yeah, so you uh, odds of one in six thousand eight hundred forty for that resulting by chance. So yeah, I would say your odds are statistically significant. Um, I'd like to see a much larger database than just 20 trials. Um, not to prove it to me, but just 
So this way we might be able to have a better understanding of how your ability works, more so than, uh, than that. But um, I would like to see uh, another replication of this trial, preferably with someone having shuffled the cards and then handing them the, uh, in the, the sealed envelopes to you before you do the, uh, the clairvoyant bit, just to avoid the possibility of uh, you having picked up anything during the initial shuffle of the photos. Um, other than that, looks great. Keep up the good work. Um, looks like you are showing promise there. Uh, it looks like you may have something. Um, i just like to see more evidence. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's it. Toodles.